Uh, hello there everyone, my name is Orca and welcome back to an Orca's Guide to Celestia. Today we are back with a hatchery update. Um, Quinn has just posted an announcement and I thought I would go over how to use this because it, it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> you know, um, lots of new info, definitely not the hatchery. And I do like the new hatchery, it's a lot improved. It's a lot more mobile friendly, which is a good thing. And yeah, so... Anyways, let's get right into it because there is so much to cover. First off, we have navigating pages. I am going to use Quinn's um, thing here because I don't personally have uh, any pets in my hatchery, but Quinn does. And if we look at this, we can see that plenty of eggs here. And we can now use these arrows to go back and forth. Before this, we had the hatchery page, which had a row of numbers on top, and that was how you got around. Now you can just go to individual pages and all that, so that's awesome. And then we also have this filter area, so we can filter by several different categories. So what you do is you can click on, say, which hatch island or maturity hatchlings or adolescents and then what you do is you click on that and then you can click on like if you want offsprings or if you only want exclusive to add theme pets for example you can do genetic tested pets you can do female or male pets and then you click on refresh and now it's only get adolescents so we don't have any results click that again now we get only the hatchlings and then we can click that again and it will return us to the natural chaos state of this place and we can also filter by the species so for example we can choose only to look at puffadors for example and if i can find those puffadors we can also choose multiple different categories so we can choose for hellas, roof horses, and let's put roof horses. We can also sort by as well. And so we do that, and then we refresh, and yeah, we only got puffer doors because Quinn does not have any of the others. The rest of this looks the same as before. You can still click on this, and it will take you to the page, and all that. You can get that, fall fast and all. Um, so yeah, that part is still the same, and, uh, the hatchery is still the same, and, yeah, so that's that. You can also see notifications for ready to hatch pets, so if, an e if a hatchery has egg ones already hatched, you'll get a notification for those, and I currently don't have this, because I I'm not the person who owns this stable, and I don't have pets of my own I can hatch. But you will get a notification up here on the lady cats that, yeah, you should go and check on your pets. And I believe it still works the same way. If you don't hope it to hatch, it hatches normally. And if you help it to hatch, you get a stat boost. And of course, it gets normal notifications of it's going to hatch. Moving on, we now have a big feature. This is the mass release button. This is big. So how this works is if you go to your hatchery, you have this button over here. And when you click on it, you will get all of your pets will either be grayed out like the eggs or if hatchlings and adolescents should not be grayed out. That means that you can click on those pets and you can select them basically. And then once you select the pets you want to release, you can click this button. And it, yeah, it's basically like if you were moving pets from a stable, but it's for releasing. If you want to move a pet to a stable early, you have to go into the pet's profile to do that. So that still hasn't changed. 
but yeah, you can release pets directly from the um, hatchling out hatchery homepage, which is awesome. And while we're here, I'll mention that you can also see your occupancy. So I have one pet right now, and then we have one egg. If, of course, we go to someone like Quinn, Quinn has 41 pets and a lot of eggs and hatchlings and adolescents. Yeah, lots of pets, lots of pets here. Um, yeah, so that's the mass release button and you will get a pop-up with like a warning, of course. And this is the image of that warning. And that's pretty much all of the updates for the hatchery. Um, I'm still not sure why there's a motto thing here. We have no word on that yet. But we can also use some other features here, which are useful. So we can click on this to get a link to our hatchery and it copies directly to your clipboard, I believe. And you can do that for any hatchery. Um, if you click on this image here next to the orchestra and hatchery or whatever name of hatchery you are in, um, you can also view the stables like there. And then if we click on this, you can see some settings. So you can set like auto release only these pets or like move these pets to the stables. And you can now also move hatchlings to the stables, I believe. Um, I will need to test that, but that is kind of handy for freeing up space in your hatchery. Um, although I will say that usually it's the stables that need more room. Yeah, that's, that's why I have this whole big area here. It's just for the pets, just in case, because yeah, Fall Fest, it's here and it's it's definitely here. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy Fall Fest now and have fun with that. So um, yeah, that's gonna be it for me for now. Keep adventuring and I will see you guys on Celestia. Happy Fall Fest! Bye!